Okay, in this short video we're going to look at the uh, format command and how that can be useful to format values into certain um, formats which will be useful in VB6 and I've got three breakpoints my code is ready so we can step through the code to see what happens. So I'm going to run my program and the first thing that I'm going to format is a date. So if I click on that button it steps into this sub procedure. We're setting a string variable called sdate to a particular date and if we step through it we can see the date before formatting is going to appear in a message box and it does. Date before formatting is the same as when we set the variable short date format. Um, if we step on to this next line what is happening here is we're using the format command we're formatting the variable and we're formatting it, formatting it in this particular format which is actually a format for long date including the day format so if we just come off that now and hover over S date, we can see that's what it has formatted it to. So the format command is really useful to format dates to make them look how you want them to. And if we just move on to the message box, we can see it has done it there. Next one, format currency. Again, we're setting a variable. This time I'm setting it to, um, I'm just going to change that actually. I'm going to make it £1.50. But as we can see, we haven't got any pound sounds. We haven't got, any, uh, we haven't got all the pence values in there. We wouldn't expect to see £1.50 displayed like that. So again, we display it before formatting. We use the format command and we've got a pound sign there, so it's always going to show the pound sign. Wherever there is a hash, it will display um, that value if it exists. Wherever there is a zero, it will either display the value if it exists or a zero. So let's see what it gives us. It gives us it in the format we might expect. If I was to change it to 50 pence and try again format before, uh, currency before format, format in 0 0.5 um, I would ex want to show the 0 even though it's just 50 pence. That's why it's got a 0 there instead of a hash at that point. And if we see that has worked. That's how we'd expect it to be, be displayed. Last one is formatting something with some leading zeros. Often, um, if you've got some characters or some numbers, you'd want to um, have some what we call leading zeros on there. Let's have a look at the example. We click on that. We've got an ID number that is four digits long. ID before formatting 2365. But we might want it to be eight digits long and have leading zeros. So we just format with eight zeros and then we get that as the result. Doesn't matter how long your ID is. So if it's just five, it will still put eight digits in total. So that's a really useful formatting technique as well that will be used a lot. Thanks for watching.